dating icon. We love her. Ladies and gentlemen, Tessa Burkett. Yeah. Yeah. So good to see you, Tess. So nice to be here. Thank you. It's been so spending time with you guys. We so love you. a joy. Okay, we're going to talk about this big campaign you have coming okay. up in a little bit. I'm sure you saw it trending yesterday. It was number one on Twitter. And What's then that? April Fool's. Oh. That's when you know, Tess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then April Fool's Day. Did you have any jokes you. played on you, by the way? I didn't. Yesterday? No, okay, thankfully. Did you play any jokes on anybody? No. Uh, no, I'm not that bad. Did you do things here? No. They tried. What do you mean? I got taken. I wasn't in on it. You were in on it. Yeah, I got taken. We had a woman come in who pretended to be a baby and had award-winning uh, cupcakes, and she was just throwing eggs all over the place. And, yes. Oh, and egg we were shells. buying into it. I was buying into it. it we didn't well. yeah. Have you ever really. used eggshells ground up for kelp? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> No. I've now learned this. I totally know that. Potatoes. It doesn't go and, well and in the morning. I know it's yeah. good for the garden, but it's apparently good it's good for, for you as well. Okay, yeah, right. I don't think so, guys. Uh, also, we had Professor Maya on. She came to play. She had on these gorgeous bright mm -hmm. colors, and she said, we're saying sorry to... Stop saying sorry. I can't even <laughs> <You> say <laughs> it. Sorry. Did you say sorry? Sorry. 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 Okay? Had, uh, sorry. sorry. I just had a mint. Excuse me. So, no, no, you say excuse me. Excuse me. I just excuse had a mint. Let me gather my saliva together to say... fascinating. She said, we're saying sorry too much, especially we women are guilty of it. Are you, Tess? Oh, I'm the worst. Yeah. And it was so interesting listening to her about how that diminishes our value and, you know, we chip away at ourselves and I think that's something to just be cognizant of because I say sorry all the time for no for, for no reason. And it always comes in threes. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> 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 What's this you know, it so, yeah. It's so a one, two, three. Have you found an alternative word? Something you're trying to use well, different? Well, her list was helpful, so yeah. now I'm going to be, you know, like, saying excuse, excuse me, pardon me, and yeah. Well, I think we all said sorry immediately after. It's funny, when you become cognizant, it's even harder. It's like you're thinking about not saying it, so you say it more. Right. It's retraining the brain, right? So true. I say my bad all the time. My, my bad. bad. My bad. My bad. And I don't even yeah. know if I did anything wrong. No, it's my bad. <laughs> but it's just easier. It diffuses the situation, right? Always. But no. I do weather, so I have to say I'm sorry all the time. <laughs> all the time. Yeah. You're a walking I sorry I have to. I have yeah. to use sorry. But that is the accurate term, you. though, for that, yeah. okay. for your forecast. Yeah, especially okay. last weekend. Can we please yeah. talk about your dance moves? Nobody's sorry about this video that you posted. Oh, my gosh, Tess. We're used to seeing you on the ice and you do such a beautiful job and then we see this other side of you the Sasha Fierce <laughs> who unleashed this wicked hip-hop routine what does this mean is this for funsies yeah, or are we going to see more of like the Sasha we, we kind of come up with your own Sasha yeah. Fierce it's Vicky Vice is it Vicky, Vicky Vice yes yeah. 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 Vicky Vice for the virtue so, yeah. so Sam, yeah. Sam a choreographer that we've worked with he helped create Moulin Rouge and we've worked with him for years. He's a, a dear friend and just an absolute genius. This is a warm-up for him. Come on. This is a warm-up to... We, we were doing some choreography in Montreal last week, and um, this was just to get our bodies moving, and he's just amazing. The, Raj, the Raj you know how to do that move. Raj, bust that one out. I can do, do it once, right? and then i got to pop my hip back into place, <laughs> then pop my shoulder back into place. It's kind of starting to feel that way, too. Does it translate <laughs> under, under the ice, though, those moves? It's really... Like it's difficult to, to translate anything, because we just have those, you know, forward backwards. We don't, we don't have that kind of linear yeah. movement, so it's tricky to feel grounded on the ice. We try our best, but I mean, it's way more fun to just be in a studio and sneakers. I was going to say, when I saw you post that, I was like, okay, impressive. We know you got the moves. But when Scott was doing that, I was like, come on. Oh, he's Scott, good. He's I got good. it. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 I was impressed by Scott doing this. You want to see Scott on the dance floor at a wedding. He's like the, the party guy who has we the most. We've seen a lot of yeah. events. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. There's, yeah. No, there's, there's no overbite there, right? <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. do you and Scott ever, like, go tear it up in the club? And you're like, hey, did you know we got this in us, too? That would be so much fun. That, with your medals. Like, I think go that should be our with entrance, the medals, right? We need a choreographed entrance. I have to ask, too, we always have a debate. Beyonce or J-Lo? Whose choreography do you enjoy? Oh, you don't have to choose if you don't oh. want to, but for me, it's Beyonce. Is it? I feel like when she dances, it's like it's yeah. every single move down oh, to her fingertip, yes. her head, her eyes, her face, her toes. I love that you're doing it. Yeah. 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 So it's with J-Lo. Yeah. Like, J-Lo does a lot of the ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta. <laughs> it's the salsa. It's the Latin. Yes. That's it. Right, right. Whereas Beyonce, I don't know, I feel like could J-Lo do Beyonce's choreography? Yes. Yeah? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, original fly Settle girl. Score so. test. Settle the score test. Settle the score test. What do you I say? Mean, J-Lo was the original fly girl. So you're saying J-Lo over yeah. Beyonce. Team Beyonce for dancing. J-Lo. J-Lo. I'm on my own. J-Lo? Yeah. I'm on my own? I'm sorry. Does I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Sorry. sorry. No, no, don't apologize. Do not apologize for the right decision. When you make the right decision, you don't apologize for it. Excuse me, but J-Lo. Beyonce does like a broken down... Oh, yeah. I think I'm just 
ready for a new like another world Beyonce a new yeah another yeah. rebirth mm. yep Beehive I'm with you it's gonna be okay <laughs> yeah. I, I enjoy Jayla she's well. watching right now actually. I, yes. I mean who, uh, right. who does it yeah. right like right. please yeah. okay what were you gonna say D your knee okay after all those I know <laughs> straight to St. Mike's right after this yeah. time is 8 o'clock we have much more coming up with Tessa Virtue in an amazing campaign you will have to see and why she went viral Virtue went viral what was it Vicky Virtue Vicky Vice Vicky Vice Vicky Vice, Vice. 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 <laughs> Vice. I, I love like it. that it's coming up time is 8 o'clock to watch a BT She has taken the gold for Canada and gets the top spot for continuously inspiring so many people to live their lives to the fullest. Can you please look at this visual face? What a stunning video. I goosebumps. Please welcome back Tessa Virtue. Tessa, this is so stunning. As I said, it was trending yesterday. You are wearing body paint and you are just freestyling, it seems, to this beautiful music. And it's you becoming a peacock on the, the, the rink. It's, yeah. Whose concept was all this? Well, we worked closely together, the, the team at Nivea and myself, Sam Schwinnard, choreographed it to really bring out those peacock bird-like movements. But we wanted it to be about finding your authenticity and your individuality. And I think everyone can relate to that, right? Whether for me it's movement or however you express yourself, just feeling comfortable and confident enough in your skin to realize that there are just no limits. And that was 45 minutes of practice? <laughs> to learn the piece and uh, an 18 hour shoot to actually get it right on the ice. <laughs> you're incredible. And speaking of feeling empowered in your own skin, was it at all intimidating when they said, so you're going to wear body paint? <laughs> Right? As, as fit as you are, I mean, people would think it's a no-brainer, but to embrace it and feel so free, was it freeing to have pretty much nothing but skates on? In a way, yes, it was. It was uh, quite a process to do the body painting, and it looked like I was wearing leggings, yeah. so I felt pretty secure. Yeah. Um, but I actually thought that added to the piece because there's a vulnerability in the beginning, and then I found my power, I found my strength, and I think that just sort of mimicked the... Well, the message that we were trying to tell mm. on a broader scope. A lot of us are really happy with what we do and we feel passionate, but to say you're the best in the world, my gosh, the mental and physical stamina. We were just talking about the Olympics, Raj. Did you watch this? Their recent yes, skate? of course. I watched it the next day knowing you won and I was still sick to my stomach wondering, <laughs> like, how, are, how do you settle your nerves when it's something that big to go out there and do your best? What tips can you give us, the rest of us mere mortals? <laughs> well, I think realizing that everyone has those nerves was important to us and we just needed to handle them better than anyone and it's so uncomfortable that feeling the stress I mean you know you're on live mm -hmm. TV every day it's yeah. it's so stressful and yet just realizing you know we have to find comfort in this and Scott looked at me so many times and said this is what we want you know let's embrace this storyline the, these feelings this is um, where we thrive because it just makes the end result that much more enjoyable and a big thing is you love doing it and that yeah, that and I think just easy. being prepared, right? Like anything. We knew that we had done everything possible to set ourselves up for that one moment. And that's sport. You know, anything can happen. There can be a fluke mistake. You could fall. You can trip and whatever. But we knew that we were ready, and we had to trust that training. Mm -hmm. And how do you deal with being this incredible role model now? Because you have so many people coming at you, you know, social media. You're exposed to all the good <laughs> and some of the bad, the trolls, as we say. Mm -hmm. How do you balance all that out, all that noise? I think I just try and stay grounded in the things that really matter. So I'm big on the real human connection. Yeah. And as neat as it is to connect with people and engage on social media, I think it's important to just remember that there are lives behind the screens and so much of you know, what I place importance on are just the, the people that are really close to me in my life and the experiences that I'm getting to enjoy. And it's not just about, you know, presenting a certain way on Instagram. I think looking at other people's feeds, you have to remember the same thing, right? Yeah. Well, and the personal connections, I think, can bring the strength to you as well, the, the people around you. Totally. And when you're doing something you love, when you have a purpose and a passion and you're working for that, um, that's always when I feel most confident and comfortable. Speaking of no limits, I feel like there's nothing you can't do. Like anything you set you, your mind to, you're going to excel. What does your family and the friends you grew up with, what do they say about all of this <laughs> success? And what's next for you? What do you have your eyes set on? Uh... Well, I think sometimes I think I'm a little crazy because when I get an idea in my head, I won't stop until I accomplish that. And so I can get a little obsessive about certain goals, but uh, they're always so incredibly supportive. And next, um, Scott and I are getting back on the ice, so Yay. we're preparing our fall tour. We have some announcements next week about, uh, Very nice. about some things. Um, 
Yeah, I won't do you that too much. I, I want to do that. I want to come back. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. Is, it true, is it true you're obsessed with real estate? Because so I am I. Are you? Do you watch all the real estate shows? Oh, I try to, but I, I'm also just always looking up listings. In every city I'm in, I'm looking up the listings well, come and finding on. places. And it's real yeah. estate. Yeah. Well, a million dollar not? listing with Vicky Vice. <laughs> <laughs> okay? We're going to start a whole well, new a new platform. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> exactly. Really cool uh, stuff happening right now. Yep. Tune into our BT Toronto Instagram Live. Tess is here to answer all kinds of questions, and then we'll let you go, only to have you back for the breaking news next week. Okay? Can't wait. Thank Deal. you. And get Thanks people so to share their no limits with you as well. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I want to hear all the stories. Yeah. Perfect. So make sure you follow her at Tessa Virtue and use the hashtag No Limits. Thanks, Tess. Thank you. And go to Instagram Live right now. We're going <laughs> to fire it up. Let's head upstairs now to Mel.